What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to macOS Sequoia, I'll be happy to let you know that we have a new software update. And as you can see right there, this is 15.4 developer beta 4 and at the time i'm recording this video the public beta is also out and as you can see since i was updating from the previous beta 3 my software update size comes in at exactly 2.44 gigs obviously apple released other beta 4 updates alongside this and you can see watch os 11.4 vision os 2.4 we have tvos 18.4 mac os 15.4 of course this is the video for that and we got ipad os and ios 18.4 beta 4 versions all these i cover here on the channel at half men of tech so if you want to keep up to date definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out now what i'm going to do is quickly update my mac to this new version that we have today and then we're going to look at some of the changes that this software update has to offer my device has been updated to this latest version and if we go into the system preferences right here control function c just to center it you can see here uh, if we go to the storage section right there and then go all the way down you can see in, when it comes to mac os itself it's actually taking 22.54 gigs which is about average for me but then if we click on the more info tab you can see the new build number that we have with this beta 4 and it's 24e 5238a so take note of the a because the lower you go in the alphabet the more stable it means the build number is so this might mean that the next update we see is going to be a release candidate version we'll talk about that more soon as we go throughout the video but something that has changed when it comes to this update you can see from my previous beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 videos the apple intelligence software that it was actually taken up wasn't being designed disclosed by Apple. I thought it was a bug, but some people reached out to say that that's how Apple was recommending to keep this as a change. But now you can see the storage that or space that Apple intelligence is occupying has actually been disclosed. And for me, it's more than doubled from my averages that I used to have. And right here, it's 11.53 gigs. Before that, I actually used to average about 5.5 or 5.6 gigs. So kind of interesting not that apple intelligence got better and not that i enabled a bunch of other stuff but yeah it's interesting to see apple intelligence has more than doubled at least for me in storage another update that was released alongside this that i don't usually cover as you can see is safari technology preview and this is preview 215 and basically apple's aim with safari technology preview is to aim to gather feedback from developers it is actually generally designed for for developers but it does not require a developer account to download and use so if you want to test it out and see how it's going to work with your development process you can go ahead and do that when it comes to the app store to be specific when you open it up for the first time there's going to be a new pop-up screen that says what's new on the app store and apple arcade you can see a more powerful search use natural language to find what you are looking for more easily so this is a pop-up screen that's there and it's just telling you that you can use apple intelligence to find what you are looking for and at the same time if you are an apple arcade subscriber you know you recently apple updated some of their existing games with new stages but as you can see in the apple newsroom they are going to be releasing six more new games and you can see some of those games are actually going to come out on april 3rd and you can see some of them katamari Mary, Demary, Loring Live, and obviously you can see Spade Invaders, Infinity, Giana, involved by NATO, and this is going to be available on Mac. So this is a publicly available page, and depending on the platform you are going to play on, some of the games might or might not be available, but generally they are usually available throughout the different OS's. If you are an Apple News Plus subscriber, they've also made some further wording changes and some of the font text is slightly different from that which was present in the previous beta, which is not something that I use. You can see, you know, if I try and click on something, you know, I, I'm being prompted to try for free, but this is just an FYI. Other than that, most of the other changes that are present in macOS 15.4 that we've been highlighting are still present. So we have a newly 
the updated software update page which you will see once this version comes out officially and you update to it we also have mail categories that are now available on macOS, and you have the ability to turn them on and off podcast has been updated the version as well as giving users the ability to search war doing suggestions while you're searching at the same time so it helps you find what you're looking for more easily we have apple intelligence that's going to be expanding to more languages and regions with the release of mac os 15.4 and those countries are going to be majorly in the eu since this is a delayed release for those regions and like i mentioned priority notifications are present in the settings we have new siri accessibility shortcuts and a podcast widget that you can use in terms of the release notes for this update you can see when we go to the page right there apple mentions a few known issues as among a few other resolved issues and yes we still have an issue when it comes to apple intelligence but that might actually not be available and you might see downloading support which was actually an issue i experienced in one of my other videos you might be able to see it if you look at my recently released but at, at least as for this update that issue is not showing up and you see we have some new features and resolved issues for game controller we have some networking resolved issues and you know when it comes to sd card readers you can see now we have apple silicon max with an internal sd card reader now support sduc cards larger than two terabytes and we have some store kit new features swift ui changes and we have system calls new features which are more on the developer side but other than that in terms of my battery life you can see here for the last couple of days you know um since this update typically comes out on monday you can see starting the next day which was on a tuesday i used about you know 100 percent of charge and i got about nine hours of screen on time which was really really good and right here i used about uh you know i don't know maybe 20 10 15 20 percent right there and my screen on time didn't really show up but then you can see here on uh thursday i actually got you know used almost about 45 percent and i got three hours of screen on time which you know is slightly less than what i got on tuesday and you can see here i actually wasn't doing much on friday i was more like browsing and doing minimal tasks and, and i got about four four to five hours of screen on time and i actually used you know less than about 15 or so percent and i think at the majority of that my mac was just laying there not being used and then of course this is today as you can see i have my mac plugged in so once i finish the update and then begin testing then i'll let you know how this update is but generally performance networking and overall functionality and optimization of the different applications now seems to be pretty good with this update which i really like and in terms of when this update could be released you can see you know now that we have been on a weekly release cycle for like two weeks now definitely or what's most likely is that the next uh, update which is most likely going to be mac os 15.4 rc version is going to be released on the 24th of march and then depending on what apple does throughout the week sometimes we might see an rc2 if there's a need to update the build number or to patch something so if all goes well rc version on the 24th and then officially this update might be coming out on this um a march 31st which is kind of interesting because apple mentioned that this update is going to be coming out in april but then since this is march 31st it's not technically april so not sure if apple is going to do something to delay it maybe or they might not release it on the monday and release it on the tuesday we'll just have to wait and see and this is an interesting one but other than that that's how this update is for me if you're thinking of updating and you are on the previous beta 3 at least for me from the time i've been using and testing this device i can't complain and my mac is up to date i've been testing it and i'll continue to do that and if something changes i'll definitely let you know now that's about it for me if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video pretty soon